So Steve Harvey is facing some backlash. He recently made a TikTok talking about how there's a good percentage of women that make more than their man, which is cool. Some women have the capability to make more money and have a skill set um, that brings them more prosperity than even most men. If we look at women that make 100K, 90K, they're doing better than most people, period, in the world. So Tyler Perry's going on this rant and he's talking about, you know, if you're a woman that that's in that range, you're going to have to find um, or be OK with being with a man that makes less than you and you being the breadwinner. Now, as a man, you hear this and it makes complete sense. To a woman, it makes no sense. It makes no sense to the woman because she doesn't understand her own dating strategy. Women date across and above in the hierarchy. So if she makes 90K, she's not dating a guy that makes 60K. She won't even look at a guy, she won't even acknowledge his presence. So she wants a guy, if she's making 90K, she wants a guy that makes 150, 200K in order to be secure and to feel comfortable about her safety and security. This is natural female nature. But women, we see this on a regular where women are rebelling against settling. It's not settling. This is the results that you have to deal with whenever women enter into the workplace. There is a possibility that you could gain a skill set that makes more money than most guys, which does a couple of things. The guy that makes a hundred and a million dollars why would he just settle with you when he has access to a lots of women? It doesn't make any sense. Right? So she's a woman that makes a lot of money is in a predicament because guys don't judge women off of their money. We could care less if she makes money or not. Which comes to the argument of who's better at leading and men are better at leading because a man and men will take care of a whole society. Women only want themselves to be taken care of, or they're only good at taking care of themselves. A lot of them not are, are not even good at doing that. So a woman that makes a lot of money, she's when she goes to McDonald's and she goes to the drive through, she, there is no way in hell she will date a guy that works at McDonald's. She may date a guy that works at McDonald's, the corporate office. But let's flip the scripts for a second. A man that is a CEO for a company goes to a restaurant and sees a waitress that's very attractive. He will happily give her her number, his number. Go out. If she's a good woman, she cooks and cleans for him. She will be happily be under his submission. He will happily take care of her. Women don't want to take care of a man to save her life, right? Which makes them not suitable for leadership. And here's the thing that women don't want to understand and women don't want to understand and realize. And this is going to break some of you women's heart, but it's the truth. And we got to talk about it. Um, there is a percentage of guys that could give a shit less about making a million dollars. There are guys out here that are OK working on a warehouse job, being a warehouse supervisor, making 60K a year, coming home, living in a tiny house apartment and playing video games living in a studio apartment, completely content, 
His expenses are low. Completely content. He knows he doesn't have the skill set to make it 100K. Or maybe he don't even want to make 100K. He knows what makes him ha happy and makes him purposeful and makes him um, want to get up and be excited every day. Doesn't correlate to making 100K. Now, the guys like me that are striving to be very successful up in the six-figure range and even higher, we're going to be just fine. But you have to be aware that every guy does not think like us. Every guy does not want to do and be these things. A guy is good with traveling and living in a camper. So... You women are going to have to come to grips that every guy doesn't either, doesn't either have the skill set to make 100K, uh, doesn't have the work ethic, because it takes a lot of things in order to be successful at that level. It's not just one thing. So not every guy wants to be what you want them to be. And what happens is when you get in these situations, women tend to nag you and they tend to um, make you the nagging turns into complaining and the complaining turns into anger and it just keeps escalating on and on and on because subconsciously she wants a man that takes care of but when she's making over that, that much money she's gonna the man that she wants just shrunk by 90% she's basically talking about 10% of the men that um, are in her radar, which is going to be very difficult for her to um, assess because a guy that makes that much money doesn't care about whether she make he makes the woman makes a ninety k. He got his own money, so he would rather date a broke chick that looks good, that treats him well, and submissive, than date your independent, strong, independent. You know difficult attitude having so if you look at the comments you overwhelmingly see women are outraged at his settling which just further escalates and further points out just how bad the dating mindset is and I keep telling you guys this, and I'm going to keep saying it. Since the middle class is shrinking and, you know, the government has ulterior motives, the 80-20 rule is going to overcorrect itself, and it's going to go into 90-10. A lot of you guys are struggling, and just recently... They got rid of affirmative action. All these different types of things were getting women easier access to good jobs. And this is why some of you guys are struggling or were struggling to get a decent job because we have all these quotas and incentives that these companies get from being diverse, so to say. So, um... Guys, it's going to get worse out there. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, focus on yourself. Try to make as much money as you can. Try to find a decent woman that likes you for you. And if you can't, man, just freaking just, just do what you got to do, man. Like, just be single until a good woman pops up, man. This is how psycho and how stupid... And how dwindling our society is becoming. And this is how stupid dating is becoming in the West. So that's my video. You guys like, comment, subscribe. Share the video if you like the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.